Imagine this. You live in Africa, in Tanzania to be more exact. You are a farmer, just like your father and his father before him. On your field, your family's food supply for an entire year. As it becomes dark, you hear elephants in the distance. Later that night, you are woken up from your sleep, from sounds coming from your field. An elephant is standing eating amidst your crops and is destroying the work of months in the process. What do you do? This is a life and death issue for you and your family, but also for the elephant. Not just in Tanzania, but also in other African countries, as well as in countries in Asia. Elephant crop rates are something that plagued farmers in these regions for generations, but in recent years they have become even more of a problem. In the past, villagers often had little chance but to use spears to protect themselves and their crops in these situations, injuring and potentially killing the elephants in the process. But with only a few hundred thousand elephants left in Africa, and some 30,000 that are being lost to ivory poaching every year, this comes at a cost. With more and more grassland being converted to farmland and an ever-increasing population density, elephant crop rates became more and more common, damaging up to 70% of all crops in some areas. Conservationists were therefore eager to find an efficient way to keep elephants away from farming areas, in order to protect both the elephants and the livelihood of the farmers. Electric fencing is an effective way to create barriers for these animals, but the costs are so high that it is unaffordable for most of the farmers, leaving only a few areas protected. A low-cost, low-tech method for scaring elephants away was needed to restore peace between farmers and elephants. One tool that farmers in these areas have been using for decades is chili. Because elephants are particularly sensitive to smells, even the tiniest amount of chili will irritate them to the point of it being a deterrent. When planted as a kind of fence, dispersed as a powder or used for chili powdered ropes, it has proven very effective in protecting farmlands. But with more and more farmland to protect, requiring huge amounts of chili, these techniques became increasingly impractical. A more targeted approach was needed, that was, however, still safe to use. After all, walking up to an elephant and blowing chili powder up his nose is probably not the smartest thing to do. Other communities found success with firecrackers. The loud noise would often successfully scare the elephants away. So Damien Bell, executive director of the Honey Guide Foundation, a Tanzania-based conservation group, with support from the United States-based Nature Conservancy, had the idea to combine these two techniques into a more effective tool. His somewhat unorthodox idea is sort of elephant pepper spray grenade, made from a condom. Just crush a few chilies till you have a fine powder, mix it with rocks and sand and tightly fill a condom with it. Add a firecracker for bang and to make the condom explode and you have a cheap hand grenade that is very effective against elephants. These chili grenades are simple to make, very inexpensive and small, making distribution to local farmers easy and financially feasible. And best of all, they are easy to use and harmless. On sight of a raiding elephant, simply light the fuse and throw it above the elephant. The cloud of chili powder that then falls on the elephant is often enough to let it give up the quest for food, for the moment. In addition, a few other methods have proved effective as well, and have been since then combined into a four-pronged alarm system. A system that is now taught by the Honey Guide Foundation to volunteers in dozens of villages throughout northern Tanzania, which should help to defuse the human-elephant conflict in a harmful way. In the first years of its existence, the success of the project is already visible. In the areas where the system has been implemented, the crop yield has seen a significant increase, and all while harming next to no elephants. 